Welcome to this week's EMBN show. We've got a great show lined up for you guys this week. We're checking in with Steve Jones, who's out of Flyer Bikes. Plus, we're checking out all the latest news and some of the regulars, like some great tech, where in the world, and of course, the Bike Vault. Steve, have you seen Steve recently, Chris? I haven't. I haven't seen him for quite a few weeks. Every single week, he seems to be a guy from GMBN. You, Martin, Rich. Where is he? <laughs> He's actually out of Flyer Bikes at the minute, checking out all the latest high and rental fleets. So check this out. Hi, folks. Welcome to Switzerland, the land of tractors, cows, sheep, chocolate, and oh, red kites. Over there, Flyer e-bikes. Upstairs, Fit e-bike systems. And in here, we have Fly, Flyer e-bike flagikers. Actually, I'm not going to talk about that because that's all about maintenance. No, it's the rental and test fleet, which I'll introduce you to. Now in this building, folks, is the Flyer e-bike rentals. All different kinds of bike. We've got step through, we've got commuter bikes, we've got touring bikes, we've got mountain bikes, which I'll talk about in a minute. The key thing is, is there's bikes here in all different shapes and sizes. So there's a bike for everybody. But more than that, they actually do these e-bike tours. They do like a romantic tour, they do a food tour, they do a gourmet food tour. Obviously, we've been on that one the last few days where you can go from one town to the next and sample some particularly delicious food, I have to say. Um, and you can go in groups, you can have work parties, you name it, they do it here. And the cost, well, that depends on the t if, whether you go for a, a straightforward e-bug rental or the tours, but um, I'll leave the link uh, down below. Over here, we have, which is of most interest to you guys probably, are uh, the mountain bikes. Now they've got the Uprock in the Uprock 3, Uprock 4, Uprock 5, Uprock 6, and remember the Uprock X bike, which is the Panasonic powered bike, which we've shot a video on quite recently. Now, I've been thinking about this. Now you can catch, you can catch a plane to foreign countries and it costs X amount of money to take a bike, but you can actually rent these bikes. And I've worked it, I think it's about 70, Swiss per day, so that's around about 400 pounds per week to rent an e-bike. And when you've got bikes such as, you know, the Eprox 6 or the Eprox X, these are, you know, the great bikes. You know, the Eprox 6 is 170 mil travel, the Eprox X is 150, great all mountain bike. So I think it's a great way of maybe coming out of Switzerland, um, not that expensive, I have to say, and you're gonna ride some great bikes the week. Now in this part of the building is the Flyer Test Center. Now you've always heard me rattling on about bike size, blah, 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 blah. But this is an opportunity to get things right. So you book in, it's pretty, pretty booked I have to say. And in this building you can take different size bikes, you can take different spec bikes, you can ride a Bosch Uprock 6, you can ride a Panasonic Uprock X, compare the two, compare sizing, compare the amount of travel. Remember the Uprock X is 150, old mountain bike. The Uprock 6 is Bosch powered and has 170 mil travel. So, so, I mean, so many different variables here, but this is definitely a place where you can uh, answer the questions which you're thinking about when it comes to buying your new e-bike or your first e-mountain bike. So definitely a great place to come to. So remember, you've got to book into a place like this. And uh, yeah, there's riding literally 10 minutes away. So what a great opportunity. Now, obviously you've got the mountain bikes, you've got the touring bikes, but this is actually one of the most popular bikes. This is the Go Rock, or Go Rock? Yeah, Go Rock. Uh, this is an SUV, it's got um, a comfy saddle, it's got mud guards, uh, and it's also got a range extender, which means there's actually 1,250 watt hours of juice in the tank of this bike. So you could, you could probably cycle across the Alps with that much battery, right? Remember, you've got uh, helmets, which you can use. There's water, there's drinks, there's an, obviously there's a Ravella Swiss drink. And what about this for the ultimate charging station? Look at it, there is literally hundreds of battery chargers and batteries. Wow, this really is some place. So there you go, folks. Uh, flyer, rental and bike test. And as you can see, there's some customers here who are eagerly awaiting to go and test some bikes. Um, I think some of these people will actually be their first time on a mountain bike out on the hills. So uh, yeah, if you've never been mountain biking before, this is the place to go to. Wow, pretty good stuff going on there, Don, isn't it? You know, flyer bikes, rental bikes, hire bikes. 
Looks pretty good to me. Definitely a good idea. Right, let's get right in there with some tech. One Up, who are known for their pretty ingenious little inventions, the tools that go in your steering tube, all that stuff, have come up with some e-bike components. First one is this new e-handle bar. It's carbon fiber, but it's 20% more compliant than other carbon bars, so kind of, I guess kind of more, well, compliant, it's more flexible, more yeah. we'll sort of forgiving, that's it, isn't isn't it, on your arms. Also, they've got internal routings for Shimano, so mm -hmm. keeps all those cables away, they go inside your bars, super nice. Like Take that. away all those little elastic bands that hold all those cables on, it can sometimes get a little bit messy, can't it, as well? Exactly, so. I like that, I love the internal routing, without it being too hard, I like it. Yeah, definitely, price-wise on those, uh, coming in at $250, 800 millimeters wide with 35 mil rise, so nice little setup there, but that's not the only component they're doing, right? Yes, they're doing a chain guide as well. Again, for Shimano, so it goes uh, bolt straight onto the motor by the looks of it, sort of yep. an EP8 uh, system. Well, it looks like it works on all the Shimano systems, actually. Uh, directs the motor, super simple, loads of different colors, $65 and 45 grams. No, it's got that flip over chip as well. So when you're maintaining and working on that chain, you can flip it over without a tool. So it saves all that faff of having to remove the chain guide. I hate doing all that. I had so. to do that to calibrate my uh, specialized motor. Did you? So you have to take your chain guide off. Yeah take the chain off and spin it at 60 RPMs. Really? Whilst it's plugged into the computer, hey presto, fixed it. Sounds a good workout. <laughs> <laughs> Time for something different, Chris. Mm -hmm. These are the new era e-bikes by Mastix. Have you seen these bikes before? I have, there's kind of, I think a couple of shows back, we looked at a bike from Hyper, which is kind of along these lines, but it was a single speed version. This, I think it's kind of like a melting pot of every single <laughs> bike it, out there by the looks it of it. Is it a BMX? Is it a fat bike? Is it a mountain bike? Is road it a bike. road bike? Look that chainring on the front. Yeah, it's big fat tyres, 20 inch wheels on it, uh, suspension fork up front, disc brakes on their rear hub drive, big chainring by the looks of it. A 20 inch fat tyres, I reckon that could be quite fun. Could be good. Exactly what the sort of, mm -hmm. what they're used for. Yeah, I think it's just more for like cruising around town, having fun, you know, some people aren't in, you know, all about shredding the trails. They just want a fun bike to cruise around on. Do some sweet wheelies. To me, I think that pretty much does tick the box. <sighs> nice. If you love EMBN and love watching e-bike videos, then why not support the channel by uh, checking out some of our merchandise? That'd be super helpful. We'd love it if you did support us like that. Uh, so new range of EMBN core t-shirts like that, but different colours. Just this one, yeah. Got khaki, got blues, reds, loads of colours in there. Get in there and check it out. Coming up this week on EMBN, we've got a great week of content as always. What we got kicking off, Don? This Friday, things you should never do on your EMTB. Wow, quite a few of those going on. And on Sunday, I'm heading up to Revolution to go and ride the biggest jumps I've ever hit on my E-Mountain bike. Have you done this already? Not yet, it's in the pipeline, Ooh, so a bit scared that, about I've this one. I've stood next to that jump at Rev's bike park. This is the biggest takeoff and biggest downstep I've ever seen. Really, it should be a fun day out. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> We've had some great comments and questions from this week's videos. As always, we always read them. Uh, and from the Clips and Flats videos, Clips versus Flats, more speed or range. Uh, what's Andy B saying, Chris? Uh, Andy B saying, Clips for me, road, gravel, mountain bike, and e mountain bike. Been riding with them for 25 plus years and hate riding without them. Rode throughout the winter this year in the Surrey Hills and thick mud and never had a problem with them. If I want to release my foot, I simply remove it. It's second nature to me, so I never feel trapped, even on tricky stuff. So. Yeah, I was watching the EW. E racing and they seem to all ride clips, especially really? you know the power yeah. stage is a really important part of it. Yeah. Climbing, yeah. I've I switched between. I find that climbing an e-bike on technical stuff is easier in clips. Definitely downhill, I don't mind, but I think yeah. going up is better. Oh, I think I've. I think as you talked about in the video, I'm, I'm pretty much on flats like 90% of the time. I do ride clips for cross country stuff, but I do really feel that. Uh, power that you get, you know, yeah. especially from really slow RPM to building it up fast for tech terrain. I think if you were confident, I th yeah, yeah I it takes a while to get confident. I did this while back. Have you ever thought about racing one of the EWSEs? Yeah, I want to definitely. I used to look at it, I really want to do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Later on in the year, I'm thinking maybe finale, end of the year. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, Scat Silver says, ditch the clipping pedals in the late 90s and never look back. Foot freedom is way more valuable than being locked in place. You can use body English on the bike so much better, and I'm a bit duck footed. Yep. Uh, it's way more ergonomic for me than, it, yeah. I, I, you see that with people, you can move your feet around. Mm. And they, these days, you can get such good pedals and shoes. Yeah. Back in the late 90s, it was terrible. Yeah, I think I think it's definitely a problem to, that we didn't talk about was sometimes you see riders who do pedal foot out, foot in. And I think if you are locked into that same position and you do a lot of mileage, then potentially you are 
pushing those same, you know, straining the same yeah. bits in your knees and stuff, maybe. Some clips flat, have more flow, flow than others. Stuff, so yeah. you can, if you do have bad knees, I have bad knees, you can look at the brand right. and check them out. Some offer loads of float, some don't. Some people right. don't like float. Shimano's are really sort of positive, but you don't get much float. Right, so there's all different ones out there. Up to you. Nice one. Brendan Noble, he says, you forgot the other con about flat pedals they the, and the dents that they can make in your shins. And my shins yeah. can definitely, uh, uh, say yes to that one. I've got massive scars. I suspect we've all. I haven't done it in a while, but yes, I have done it a lot. <laughs> Shin burn. Hurts so much, especially on an e bike. I think with that uh, yeah. free wheeling crank, <laughs> sometimes so you can quick. just literally just touch your pedals, yeah, bam, bam. you've got a shinner. So yeah, forgot about that one, but yeah, not nice. Right, it's time for a bit of tech of the week, and we've got a bit of gold bling going on, right, Don? We have. So this is Richard on his Canyon Spectral in South Wales. So he was getting scratches and scrapes. Uh, everyone he knows uh, were getting their bikes invisi-wrapped, but I decided to go get a sheet of car wrap off the internet in gold for 10 quid Whoa. and wrap it himself. It looks like he's done a pretty good job. Actually, he's had enough left over to do a bit of his helmet as well. Nice. He said he saw GCN Tech try gold leaf, so mm -hmm. I thought I'd share this option. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? 10 it quid. Pretty bling, and obviously it is a good option to protect your paintwork and add a bit of a different look to your bike. He's even done the uh, swing arm as well, hasn't he? I think. Obviously, you like. can take that off and try another colour if you get bored off. Ten quid, that's pretty flipping good. Got the matching grips on there, Kashima stanch uh, stanchions as well, and the matching lid. Uh, banging for a tenner. Not bad. Nice one. Keep all that tech of the week, anything you want to get featured in on the show. Keep sending it in using the upload service, and details of that uh, are down below. Right, let's get out and about. Right, it's time to go out and about all over the world to see where you guys and girls have been riding your e-mountain bikes. What we've got first on? First off, this is in Panama. This is Ma uh, Ricky's Marin E2. This is El Valle de Anton La Silla Trail. That is cool, look at that. The Good sort of pronunciation. Rolling like in. In Panama, that must be the first time we've seen Panama. Yeah, you? definitely high up in the hills there. Great looking trail. Uh, we've got Brandy here with a 2020 Orbea uh, Wilf. Uh, and Mount Nebo State Park. Or a wild, is it not? Oh yeah, could be. It's not a wolf. Bit of a spelling mistake going on there. <laughs> uh, this is Mount Nebo, Dardanelle, Arkansas. We dropped down the side of Mount Nebo, then rode back up. Well, getting some some miles. Look at the elevation Love it. as well. Look at the fork graphics. Wow. They're not standard, surely. And the pimp bar stem grips. It's all pretty pimp on that front end, isn't it? Yeah, well, good. Next up, we've got a bit of uh, trailer action coming in from Robert. He's out on his 2021 Giant Trance Pro and Bear Creek Lake in Colorado. Yeah. It says, wife was out of town, thought I would take the dogs uh, on a 15 mile ride. Whoa. Chuck the, what are they, sausage dogs? I can't tell. I think they are, Chuck yeah. them in the back, off you go. That's pretty well, good. Alternative to taking the kids out for a ride, I suppose. Uh, and last shot in Where in the World this week is in from Brian. He's got a Levo Expert out in the Pentland Hills, celebrating my wife ending her 10 days isolation with a fantastic blast around the local hills. And I mean, look at that ridgeline trail. What do you mean? Did you take your wife with you or did you leave her at home after her <laughs> 10 days? It doesn't really tell us. <laughs> so it's absolutely joyous and I, I can't disagree with you. I mean, it's look great. At that. Yeah. Absolutely epic. It looks like you're gonna bomb down that bit in front oh, of you. Yeah, definitely. Well, good. Nice. Right, let's check out some viewers' bikes in the vault. Uh, first one is from Craig. This is a uh, Specialized Turbo Libo Comp. Morgan Glen Lark Hall. I think that, I'm guessing that's Scotland. I don't know, but I can see cows. I can see some sort of very home. green, isn't it? Isn't it? That red bike pops against the green. That's wild well nice. Uh, Craig says out for an adventure on a stunning day to explore places I've never been before. 47 kilometer ride. <laughs> Nice. Decent. What are you thinking? Nice? Or? I think that's super nice. Super I, nice. I like the shorty little front mug guard as well. It's good. good. Nice looking. Super nice looking bike then. Boom. Uh, next up we've got Anthony. He's got a 2020 Giant Trance E uh, Plus One Pro out in Sydney. Yeah. He says, loves the show and we're loving your bike. Got some... Uh, that front tyre looks big. Nice bits of kit on there. Is that me? I don't know. Maybe it's the rim, but it looks cool. Is that yeah. like a Fidlock bottle? We've got those mini bottles that fit in yeah. really nicely. Got this tube stash on the go as well. Got some matching Fox logos on there. Nice looking bike, that. Yeah, what do you reckon? Uh, I'm going to go with nice on that, I think. Oh, nice. Uh, this is Martin on his 2022 Orange Phase MX. So I guess that's 29 up front, 27.5 back. This is Aboyne, Aberdeenshire. First epic on my new e and first e bike. Been saving for three years. Finally found one that rides like I want. Bought the demo bike from the local dealer. Uh, that is Cycle Highlands. And he went for a glorious 25 mile loop in the Cairngorms with 3,000 feet of climbing. Game changer. 
Beautiful. It would be. That is the place to ride an e bike. Yeah, look at this hills in the oh. background and the trails and stuff. Looks absolutely dreamy on a blue sky uh, day like that as well. It's got the weather for it. Yeah, matching the bike almost matches the sky. It's got to be a super nice ride. Isn't right? it? For the first, you know, new bike day, go out for a ride like that. That is a good time, surely. Right, next up, we've got a bit of a bike vault first here from Russell. He's got a WTF, is it? So <laughs> what the hell is it? Yeah. I suppose. This is in China as well. It, is, it looks like one of those Chinese frames. 29er. Um, it's got an Olin shock and a RockShox Z4. It looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, pretty pin build as well, isn't it? Looks good. Looks good angles and stuff. So, heard a lot about these. Yeah, interesting. Uh, anyway, Jonathan's got a Canyon Spectral on 8 in Norway. Oh, we missed. Super nice and nice for that. Oh, sorry. Uh, I reckon that's got to be a super nice one. Right? Is it? Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> anyway, off to Norway. Uh, with the, check out the paint job. I think that's standard. Is it standard? No, it's not. It's got a bit of a, I think, one of those wraps on the that's top too, isn't it? Yeah, like that looks pretty good. Or something. It does, doesn't Look at it? the location. looks amazing. Oh, Bomb down the snow. dying to try and ride my e-bike in some nice snow. Well, maybe a bit more. Dusty trails at the minute, but winter is yeah. so much fun on, a, on an e-bike, definitely. Nice, I would nice. say. Yeah. Uh, next up we've got Pappy here, he's got a high bike all mountain 2.0 out in Malmo in Sweden. Put on a pair of 3.0 27.5 Rocket Rons to see if the battery lasted longer. And yes it did, and the grip was fine for him too. So a little bit yeah. of modifications going on, got a rear mudguard on the go. Nice looking. Just riding the bike on the beach yeah. in Sweden. It's very Scandinavian. It is, week. external battery. I think that's a nice shot. Yeah. Uh, here we go to South Tyrol, uh, Lutargo, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. Stefan in Italy, uh, just a normal after work bike ride. Check that out. It's a cube stereo hybrid, 160. That's a bit different to the hills in Bath, right, Don? That, yeah, my after work ride does not look like that. <laughs> Very green looking bike, a bit of camo almost actually. Super nice, surely. Definitely. And the last bike in this week's bike Whoa. vault comes in from uh, per Atel, yeah, he's got a uh, Poly again. Vorme, Vorme, how do you say that? Voima, I think Voima. so, yeah. Well, I've not, have we seen one of these in the bike park before? I've not. I haven't. Uh, you buy these, a frame set, don't you? That's yeah, a good can. looking bike, actually. Got access kit on there. Yeah. Yeah. Got some Drop funky angles. The Swing arm's a bit funky on it, isn't it? With it's no a, chain stay on there. Yeah, it's crazy looking angle. High pivot. Yeah. 29, I bet that bike bombs. Interesting, I like that. Nice. I think that's definitely going to be a super nice right, for the right. final bike in the bike vault. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, if uh, you've got any uh, videos, pictures, anything you want to get involved on the EMBN show, make sure you use the upload service and get involved in the comments box down below. What do you think about those bikes from Flyer that Steve's checking out? Yeah. Uh, get involved in the merch shop as well. Get in there, get your bargains, get kitted out ready for the summer. And of course, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN and we'll see you next week. See ya.